Hey, scholars, it's good to be back with you. This is another in a series of videos about mathematics, and today I'd like to talk to you about how to divide complex numbers in polar form. Now, this is pretty nerdy stuff, but it's something people do all the time, so it's worth knowing. Now, a week or so ago, I posted a video on how to uh, divide complex numbers in rectangular form, and I got a request for this video, so I'm happy to help. Here you go. To start, we need two complex numbers, so I made up two. Complex numbers are normally uh, denoted by z, so we're going to call this one 1 plus 2i, and z2 is going to be 3 minus i. Now, in case you're watching, I got my notes over here. Hopefully, I make fewer mistakes that way. Just a quick refresher. There's nothing wrong with complex numbers. Real and imaginary numbers are the two kinds of numbers. There's no other kind of number floating around out there you need to be worried about. And we use these in math, science, engineering absolutely all the time. There's nothing uh, wrong with having an imaginary number. It's not a great name, but there is, this is just as valid a mathematical entity as the real one is. Now, if there's any uncertainty about this, it's normally because we don't use complex numbers in real life. We don't use complex numbers in our day-to-day -day life. Hopefully, engineering is real life. Uh, but we don't use them to balance your checkbook. You don't, you don't do Excel spreadsheets of budgets normally with complex numbers. But they're legitimate. It's fine to work with them. So, just to re uh, review, when I divide z1 by z2, write it this way, just like you would any other number. And the problem is, how do you divide by a complex number? Multiplying is pretty easy. Well, what I can do is transform this into a, multipl a multiplication problem by multiplying by the what's called a complex conjugate. Okay, a complex conjugate of 3 minus i is 3 plus i. You reverse the sign of the complex term. When you do that, um, a number uh, multiplied by its complex conjugate is a real number. In this case, I think it's 10. You work this out, and you get uh, 0.1 plus 0.7i. That's how to do this in rectangular form, just to catch us up. Now, let's do this in polar form. In polar form, the idea here is, let's take this number. If I draw this on, uh, let's see, the real. I'll get, I'll get out of your way here in a second. Just let me draw this. This is the real imaginary axis. Real going this way, imaginary going that way. And I want to do 1 plus 2i. Well, if that's 1 there, 1, 2, there. There's that number right there. So there's 1 in the horizontal direction, the real direction, and 2 in the vertical direction, the imaginary direction. Well, the other way to describe the location of this in, in two-dimensional space is a magnitude and an angle. That's completely legitimate. legitimate. It's just in polar form rather than rectangular form. So I'm going to put both of these numbers into polar form. So let's see. R1 is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared. That sure looks like the square root of 5 to me. And then theta1 is going to be the inverse tangent of vertical divided by the horizontal, opposite over adjacent if you keep track of that kind of thing. And that turns out to be uh, 63.435 degrees. Is that right? So there's r1 and theta1. Well, let's do r2 and theta2 while we're at it. That looks like that's going to be 3 squared plus minus 1 squared. And that sure looks to me like that's going to be uh, 10, right? And theta2 is going to be, let's see, minus 1 over, I'm sorry, inverse tangent of minus 1 over 3. All right, does it matter that the inverse tangent is negative? No, it just means it's a negative angle. That's OK. And then you get minus 18.435. OK, so how do you divide in polar coordinates? Well, z1 divided by z2 is going to be r1 over r2 
and the angle is theta 1 minus theta 2. That's how this works. And when you do that, you're going to get, let me make sure I got this right here, 0 0.707. Oh, my marker's dying here. Hang on. Sorry, guys. And that's going to be 81.87 degrees. Does that right? Well, if you do the calculation of 0.1 plus 0.7i, and you work, you work that out in uh, polar coordinates, you get the same answer. So there you have it. This is how to divide complex numbers in polar form. It gives the exact same answer as you get in rectangular form. They're mathematically identical. I hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time.